Well, folks, top of the modern morning to one and to all, and thanks for tuning in. We hope you are safe and well and ready for a buggy, as we have a very special guest for tonight's show. Dublin's own Fran Hartnett will be along for a mix and a few words with Paddy a little later on for this week's homegrown segment. For anyone who may not have experienced Fran's work before, you are in for an audible treat. I have been lucky enough to see Fran in early days creation parties. My last experience was in the Irish Independent newspaper building for a vision collector show back in 2014, so I'm really looking forward to this one myself. Thank you for staying with us, folks, and for anyone just tuning in, you're listening to the 15th edition of Freak Agenda right here on 103.2 Dublin City FM and online at dublincityfm.ie. We are coming to you from our inaugural Dublin Docklands home, but not for long, as we are on the move and with our new studio space being prepped and ready for move-in dates scheduled for some time in February. I know, emotional, isn't it? Anyway, moving on, I'll give you a quick rundown on tonight's show format and things running forward. I'll be along with the revamp back to the floor segment with a long way to return to events for the coming week. That's until 20 past the hour. At 12.20, it's Wax Weekly with Mambo, who'll be giving you a rundown of his top drawer bangers for this week. And at 12.40, Paddy will be along for Homegrown with special guest Fran Hartnett, who will then be closing out the show with a special mix after a short ad break from 1 until 2 a.m. As per folks, we are always interested in hearing from you. If you may feel you have some music or an event you would like for us to share, our email door shall forever be open at freakagenda at dublincityfm.ie. So without further diddle, I'll be back in two with Back to the Floor. You're listening to Freak Agenda episode 15 featuring Fran Hartnett. And thanks for staying tuned for our first Back to the Floor of 2022. I am glad to be back sharing these events with you all as we can finally see a return to some gigs being scheduled across the capital and beyond. So first up, Friday the 11th, which is this Friday, uh, we have Party Boy 69 at Centre Point, which is the new name for Button Factory, which is in Temple Bar Centre. Going up then on Saturday the 12th, Peach, Fio Fa and Nev Geo and that's at Yamamori Tengu. Also in Index there's Ejeka and Josh Coakley on support and uh, that's coming up so that's next weekend ahead Friday and Saturday anyone thinking of heading out in the toils in town and London Friday 12th also Sir Spyro and Friends Sir Cyan, Marcus Nasty Sir Spyro, Sicaria Sound Capo Lee and Freshta and that is all kicking off in Egg London, that's on Friday. Then Saturday 13th of February, there is Fabric doing their usual. They've got Jennifer Cardini, Gerd Jansen, Thomas Bulware, Paramedia, Anna Wall, Curses and Alec Falconer. That's on Saturday the 13th of February. And moving over to Berlin, we have a gig on Saturday the 12th. We've got DJ Seinfeld and that's in the Burkhine. That's in the Canton and Burkhain, so I think they've adapted the space slightly. And finally, in Amsterdam on Friday night, there is Ben Clock is scheduled to play at the Markentine with Morella Crows and Jasper Wolf. I just want to confirm those two gigs, Amsterdam and Berlin. I check up locally if you are listening in. I am not sure exactly on restrictions there, but I am sure London and Dublin are all systems go for the moment, as far as I know. 
If I'm wrong, please do correct me. <laughs> you have our email. I'm forever saying it. Freakagenda at DublinCityFM.ie. So that is all for this week's Back to the Floor, folks. And I'll be back same time next week with a rundown of events, hopefully near you from 12.
Agenda, episode 15, featuring Fran Hartnett right here on 103.2 Dublin City FM, and online at dublincityfm.ie. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and each week the shows are uploaded as podcasts to our YouTube channel, where the track list will be available for anyone who may be interested. I'll just give you a quick rundown of the tracks that have been featured since the start of tonight's show. So first up was Slam, Positive Education, Original Mix. Next into that was Audio Injection by Fallen, original mix also. Following that was Martin Dawson and Fritz Zander, and that was Sleepwalking. And just in the background there, there was Steve Rachmad and Heiko Lau, and that's The Viking, and that's original mix also. All the best for your week, folks. Keep her lit. still listen to Freak Agenda on 103.2 Dublin City FM and online at dublincityfm.ie To start off this week's Wax Rundown, we're going to start off with some homegrown action from Lee Kelly on the mighty Windhorp Electronics. This track's called Streets of Rave.
Next one up on the weekly wax is fresh off the presses from Rosa Terenzi on her own label Stepball Chain. This one's with an artist called JD and it's called Memories of the Secret.
going to up the ante on the last track on this week's Wax Rundown. Really fresh track on your release during the week from Icelandic producer Val Ruptus on French label Tripalium Corp. This track's called Human Control.
Hello and a very warm welcome back for another instalment of Homegrown here on 103.2 Dublin City FM and via DublinCityFM.ie you are listening to Freak Agenda. This week we had the pleasure of speaking with one of Ireland's techno heavyweights, Mr. Fran Hartnett. We had a chat about all things techno, some production methods and his new outstanding record out on the mighty Real Sound Dublin label. It's a cracking four track EP, three original tracks from Fran and then we have Radial on the remix of one of Fran's tracks, Wake. Be sure to check out the Real Sound Dublin Bandcamp. Fran is no stranger to the techno scene here in Dublin and Ireland with over 20 years experience DJing, producing and his hardware based live sets are something special to behold. Fran recently developing a new AV show to coincide with his techno live sets. We're looking forward to hopefully catching one of these shows soon now things are back open here in Dublin. You can also catch Fran in Skin City here in the city dishing out some spectacular tattoos. Be sure to check out franhartnett.com for more info on all his work. I won't waste any more of your time here. We're going to dip into the interview from earlier in the week. Um, hey, Fran, how are things? Are you keeping well? Hiya, Patrick. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, uh, very good, thanks. Oh, we're Again. glad to get you on. Glad to get you on. The um, reason we gave you a call was uh, we're going to have a little chat about your new EP. Uh, it's come out on the local Real Sound Dublin label, your sure. Cold Sets EP. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, so it's been a while actually kind of waiting on release that one. Um, it was originally due for release in 2020 uh, before COVID came along and ruined everything for everyone. But um, the, yeah, so the pandemic kind of obviously pushed things back, you know, in, in all sorts of ways. But um, yeah, so we got there in the end anyway. We have uh, the record come out now. Uh, it's a four track EP with. Um, the A1 track Wake is actually, there's a remix on there as well by Radial. Um, so he's a Dutch artist who I've been a fan of for a long time. Um, so it was great getting him doing the remix. Uh, he did an awesome job with that. And then on the B side is a kind of, um, there's another track there, the A to B1 is a, a bit more of a kind of, uh, I suppose it's more kind of peak time, fast paced kind of. Uh, rolling groove with a kind of um, like a hypnotic lead synth in it and then the B2 is uh, is actually a live cut from a desk, a live set that I did during lockdown actually so that was a kind of a stream thing that was um, uh, went out on Secret Society um, so that's the most recent piece of music on it actually um, that was kind of more that was swapped out from uh, a track that was originally supposed to be on there and then also um the, the poster actually comes with the release. So the lads asked me to do uh, some artwork. Would I be interested in doing some artwork for the release? And they said they were fans of my art. I'm also a tattoo artist and a, and a visual artist as well, like an illustrator, I suppose. Um, so I ended up doing this poster, which is a... Uh, it's actually a tribute to the DJ. That was the original idea. I thought it'd be nice, you know, we, did, we agreed that we were going to do a poster so it's a nice fold-out poster. It's like four times the size of the record kind of thing. So if you imagine a 24-inch square poster for your wall with an image of kind of hands on a mixer. It's kind of an abstract thing. You can just see hands and a mixer. Um, so yeah, so that also ended up being a bit of a tribute thing actually because a friend of uh, a friend of mine and a friend of the lads who, who run the label, um, who they uh, Shuey Lines, he sadly passed away last year. Uh, so we thought it'd be nice to dedicate the uh, poster and the record to him as well. So there's a little note in the corner, uh, just saying that, you know. Yeah, class. Um, yeah, great feedback on the record so far. Surgeon's been playing it. Ben Sims, uh, Perk. Um, Brandon Muller and uh, Neil Sharp, our local techno hero. Some so, good company there. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, so it's uh, pretty excited about this release. It's a good one. Thank you. 
Speaking of the uh, track four, the live take from Secret Society, was there much processing after that, or is that a complete live take that we'd be listening to? It's actually li- like it's like there's no edit in it. It's just like about five minutes, just cut straight from a live set. So it's kind of chopped at the beginning on the beat, so that you know DJ can mix it in and then just fades out at the end. Yeah. So um, yeah, the the whole release was mastered actually by Thomas Peckman. So. He definitely did a nice job on just kind of making things sound the way they should. For yeah, the yeah, final. It's great, great record, I have to say. Um, yeah, great. Yeah, we're we're big fans of your live sets and productions here at Freak Agenda. Uh, can you give us uh, some details on your creative process? Um, are your productions mainly done on the machines and then recorded into your DAW or desk, or do you do much work sure, in the box yeah. yourself? Yeah. Um, well, I've I've actually for for years now. I've kind of been pushing towards a kind of I, I like the idea of just kind of recording of it being as, as, as live as possible with things because um, I, I found kind of I suppose in the initial years of kind of getting into music production that you could get bogged down and kind of endless edits and you know just layers and layers of tracks and stuff and as I kind of moved towards using hardware I suppose from just from flat it's the same machines that I'd used to play live a lot of the time um, I've just kind of taken to a kind of quite live approach in the studio. So, uh, say the first track that wake on the uh, on the release is pretty much live. Like it's it, there's, a, there's only like two or three cuts in the whole, you know, from from what it was. It was just played live, and I didn't layer other sounds or anything over what was originally produced like that. So that's kind of uh, I generally try to avoid, you know, kind of getting into too much. Um, in the box kind of yeah class class um, speaking of hardware what would be your, your favourite go to piece in your in your studio or, or what do you, you fall back on um, I'm probably a big fan of like the Electron stuff actually over the years uh, the Octatrack their, their sampler uh, is probably the central brain of my setup and has been for a long time and um, and recently, I have slimmed down my live set to set up to be kind of a lot, a lot, a bit more streamlined. So basically, I'm just using the the octa track now and a modular synth, um, and that's everything. Uh, but, but yeah, um, yeah, it's a great sampler and just kind of keeps on since to. I've, I've been using it for God, it must be like 12, 13 years now at this stage, um, and it's just a workhorse, you know. So that's probably my the, the thing I spend most time on, maybe. Um, I bought a cool module there recent, recently enough there, um, a, a, a tube distortion module by this French company with a very hard to pronounce name. What they're called? Uh, they're called Tool Score, and, and they've made this thing called Strackle Orsel, which is like a, a dual tube distortion module. and. Uh, Everything just sounds great for it, true. So that's that was a nice little um, find that one. Um, and then the machine drum as well, another electron uh, drum machine. I started using that now with the Dex um, as a kind of live sampling tool. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, electron fanboy here. So. <laughs> Class. Oh, it's a very versatile piece of kit. Um, a lot of artists we spoke to have that in their in their um, in their mix, and it's a nice yeah, nice definitely. little piece of kit. Yeah. If you could collaborate with anybody worldwide, who would you like to collaborate with? Yeah. Um, well, that's like it's a tough question. Um, I mean, so many great artists out there, and obviously being a DJ of like just you know probably billion artists in my head there you know Um, I would love to uh, you know I suppose dream collab maybe like Orphix and their Canadian uh, kind of industrial techno duo yeah Um, yeah, yeah. just been a big fan of their music over the years and I know they've collaborated with uh, a 
few people actually over the years, like Ancient Methods and JK Flesh. Um, so I think that would be, but they're big into their modular stuff as well, and they're yeah. very live as well. They, they, like a lot of their, their music is, is, uh, does go for that live kind of approach. Um, maybe Samuel Carriage as well. Uh, he did an album there, I think it was the year before last, maybe came out during the lockdown called The Other. Um, could have only been the beginning of last year, actually. Um, on a conceptual album with this vocalist, Taylor Birch. Um, and he's, yeah, I like the kind of conceptual edge of things. Um, so, I don't know, he'd be someone interesting to work with, I think. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. Well, we're a bit lucky, you never know. You might, you might get one of these collabs in the future. Um, yeah, yeah. Now we're back open here in uh, Dublin and Ireland. Have you any gigs on the cards that you'd be able to share with our listeners? Um, to be honest, at the minute, I actually don't. Um, I'm at the mo- the last while I've been kind of having my head down in the studio. I've been working a lot in the studio, and I'm actually work- putting an album together at the moment. So um, I kind of not. I'm not really too bothered that I don't have like you know gigs now that everything's yeah, yeah. opening back up again. I, I kind of over the years have found that gigs have always kind of happened kind of naturally for me. I haven't been chasing up gigs. I just kind of you know I yeah. just get a random call and go and play somewhere to like you know get like I'm sure as everybody is to kind of get back to uh, nightlife and um, you know being out at festivals and clubs and parties. But at the moment, uh, I'm just busy on this album, so. Oh, best of luck with the album. Uh, we'll be looking forward to hearing it when it's done. Um, be sure to Thanks. give us a shout and we can uh, get you some airtime when it does come out. Possibility now of Ireland's outdated license and laws changing this year, and with all the work that Sunil Sharp and Co are doing over Give Us the Night, what changes would you like to see um, with nightlife here in Ireland? Um, that's like, yeah, it's such an important question, really. I mean, we desperately need to really scrap the the, the kind of farce that is the license and laws in Ireland. Yeah, look, Sunil has done such amazing work in, in highlighting this issue and uh, bringing the discussion into the public, public forum. Um, that's like obviously where the discussion belongs, really, you know. And I did, they did do some public consultation there uh, while back. Um, was an opportunity for people to voice their opinions online there. Um, but look, let's be honest about this. Um, the licensing laws like that we currently have, you know, to dictate what's allowed for nightlife in Ireland are ancient and outdated. And uh, we really need some common sense brought into the law on this issue, you know. Um, so, I mean, I think the right thing to do is just to allow businesses, you know, from clubs and pubs to restaurants and bookshops open 24 hours if they like. That's my view, do you know. I mean, I the, the, you know, just to allow people to organically live their lives on whatever kind of clock and time scale they feel like, you know. Yeah, yeah. If, a, if a, a club wants to stay open all night, you know, it's not like everyone's just going to go in there and stay out all night, you know, and you're not going to, you know, society is going to collapse or something, <laughs> you know. It's like, you know, you just have to let, you know, the, the situation we have at the moment, we have people just spilling out onto the street at the same time on the weekends it's just chaos you know and no one can get home you know everyone's stranded you know at the same time it's just ridiculous like if you look to European cities um, you know I suppose Berlin being the most obvious example but there's a lot of cities across Europe that just are kind of 24 hours and people just naturally go home when they feel like going home you know 
Uh, some people like going home earlier, some people want to go home later. Some people are working all night and they actually want to go out after they finish work for a bit, do you know? Go out and have a drink or a dance or whatever. So you just have to let that happen, you know? I, I think that we have to rethink the whole thing, you know? Um, and just come at it with, like, just like, we're grown-ups here, like, you know? I mean, over the years, it really bothers me, like, when you're, and I'm sure I'm not the only person, 3 a.m., you know, if you're told, right, it's time to go home, that's, you know, you have to go home to bed now. I mean, you know, you're kind of going, I'm a grown-up now, like, who's, who's this person that's telling me I have to go to bed now, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure you agree. It's just, yeah, it's nice um, to give people the choice back, you know. Um. Yeah, you know, uh, we certainly, I mean, at the very least, should be pushing for, you know, till, you know, 6 a.m., which, you know, by the time you've got to 6 a.m., it might as well be 24 hours because things open up in the morning then as well, you know. Yeah, it'll um, be full circle then. But we need, like, you know, we need to get rid of this kind of... Uh, yeah, it's, it's almost penal law, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming from like a, you know, uh, I don't know what century, but it's not. It's not with the, the times, yeah. is it? Yeah, so we have a massive amount of talent here in Ireland, um, something that we love keeping an eye on here, Freak Agenda. Is there anybody in particular that we should be keeping an eye on? Well, I think I have a few people that come to mind and I'm sure you're already aware of, uh, of them yourself you know I mean uh, firstly I think the lads actually from real sound from the label um, are definitely all ones to watch out for you know Doug Cooney and Russell and uh, Philip Galvin Jr um, they're all making great music and Philip also runs another label uh, 393 Records and he's just playing me the uh, the, the, new, the upcoming release on that soon, which is more of the kind of, uh, I suppose, the more Detroit uh, or yeah, it's, it's kind of Detroit vibes. Very, what well, he played me actually sounded like. Uh, one of them sounded like massive, like a club anthem, you know, straight away. Sounded well, he like actually classic, caught a little yeah. clip of that on Instagram the other day. I think okay. he got his test pressing in and it sounds savage. We, we definitely had yeah. him on a list to maybe get him in for a chat ourselves. We yeah, had we had Doug yeah. and Russell on actually a couple of weeks back there. So, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so they're all doing great stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, it's unreal, yeah, some serious yeah, times around. Then... Um, uh, I think Colleen, I'm a big fan of Colleen. Uh, she's uh, doing great stuff with her DJing and she brought out a killer record there last year. Um, and I think she's great things to come from her. Um, and also another, uh, Colleen's uh, from Waterford, also from Waterford, Byler, uh, uh, is doing great things lately. I, I, I bought, a, bought a really good um, record that he put out there. Um, last year, it could be in the beginning of last year or the end of 2020. Um, ah, he's been putting out records for years, but I think his stuff recently is really strong. Um, Nagoni Egan as well, does some awesome electro stuff. Um, and uh, on the electro tip as well, Gamadon. So uh, I just got his uh, latest record there. It's killer. Heaps of talent here um, locally. Um, Thanks again for coming on and uh, we look forward thanks to your mix us. later in the show. Nice talking to you. All right, thanks a million for having us on and um, we look forward to great things now this year. Uh, so I'll hope Cheers, to thanks, to get thanks our again. Get back, you know. That's it, yeah. Thanks again, Fran. Chat soon. Okay. Take care. Cheers. Bye bye. Okay. Cheers. Be sure to come back after the break where we're going to have a mix from our feature guest this week, Mr. Fran Hartnett. On 103.2 Dublin City FM, we ease all your car journeys with Live Drive. Broadcasting live from Dublin City Council's Traffic Control Centre, all our exclusive Dublin traffic reports are in real time, with no delay, so you are not delayed. Monday to Friday, morning 7 to 10 a.m. and evenings 4 to 7. Live traffic reports as they happen in real time. Transport for Ireland, proudly sponsoring Live Drive. For smoother journeys, download the TFI free journey planner and real time apps today. Here's some good news, Ireland. From now on, our recycling bins can be used for all plastics. Yes, even soft plastics. 
Just make sure everything is clean, dry and loose so it can all be sorted properly. Which means that together we can try to recycle even more and continue our journey to be more sustainable. So pop all your plastics in your recycling bin. See MyWaste.ie for more. Brought to you by the Government of Ireland. I have to praise you like I should. Making a difference with me, Gillian Godson. An eclectic mix of people, projects and ideas. Don't miss it every Monday morning at 11 a.m. Ear to the Globe, probably the most comprehensive guide to new world music releases and visiting artists on Irish radio. Music from everywhere, Africa, Latin America, Europe, the Middle East and Asia, with interviews and occasional ticket giveaways. Don't miss Ear to the Globe with DJ Nigel Wood every Monday night, 10pm till midnight, for what's new and exciting on the world music scene. You're tuned to the home of great music in Ireland on 103.2. Dublin City FM and around the world on DublinCityFM.ie You need a freak like me to make love to your body I'd like to give a massive thanks for Fran coming on to give us an interview this week be sure to check out all his work on franhartnett.com. You're listening to the one and only Freak Agenda here on 103.2 Dublin City FM and online at dublincityfm.ie. For the next hour, we're going to go in the mix with none other than Mr. Fran Hartnett.